What's going on YouTube? This is Chaos Rain here once again. This is going to be part four of my crash course into Syndicate, trying to give you a, you know, what to look out for, so on and so forth. Um, I attempted to fracture Nemesis on my map and it didn't work, so <laughs> I'm just going to run the map. Alright, um, if I remember last time, nothing's changed on my board. I've only been working on getting some harvest crafts and earning up some Xana missions. If I remember that we had him become a rival with one of them and then lose his house and now we're going to be learning how to put him into the house by just kicking him out of houses over and over again. And you can kind of see where we're going to go as we go. second all right I had to set my alarm as my videos don't uh, they don't last very long when I'm direct recording them come on I curse them thank you so all we got is Riker and for so well he's just gonna give me fortification intelligence we're gonna take that and let's just quickly go kill bosses because we do need some missions now. Anyway, so the the general goal about on this is basically to show you guys what it's like to when you have a full um, a full full fleshed out syndicate setup you don't necessarily have to do it the way i'm doing it but it is a very very common way to do it a lot of people like to farm and buy pure breach stones and a lot of people like to farm and buy white socket benches so doing it this way kind of gives you a little more of a heads up and insight on what i'm doing and you know how to go about doing stuff like this Looks like we have a intervention, which is when they just try to assassinate you. So you gotta just kind of walk in a big zigzag until someone decides to show their ugly head. If I'm unlucky, he's gonna show up at boss, but I can just back off from the boss, so it doesn't really matter. All right, kill the boss real quick. Bosses, Ooh, I gotta kill these guys. We got maze. All right. Oh, there he is. Came after the boss. So who do we have? Isling, or as I like to call her, Assling. Is there? She's ass, you know. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Oh, I'm netted. All right. You got to be careful with this. They hurt. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought another one showed up. Gravisius and it looks like Asling are both showing up. So, all right. Here we go. So let's see what to do. Oh, well, here we go. So, Gravisius, he was initially in this house, and then he got kicked out of the house, if you guys can't don't remember. Well, this is the perfect opportunity, because now you execute him, and he goes back into intervention. Now, ideally, you don't want three in the last house, because you want to farm the last house. Um, I guess not ideally. I don't do it. But I'm putting him in the last house, because I don't farm the last house. I am only farming research, and that's all that matters to me. All right, so I Isley and Tora become trusted. Um, you don't have any relations right now, so sure, you can become trusted.
been uh, working all day on looking for harvest crafts. I end up doing all of my atolls. I end up buying a whole bunch of crafts. I think I'm on 18 attempts to remove add crit, remove crit, augment crit um, when you craft on the crit chance. And I haven't hit T1 multi, so uh, it's brutal sometimes. It can be expensive, but I guess silver lining is I found so many crafts that they kind of paid for the crit crafts themselves. What do I have? I have another assassination. Okay, so let's see. Where are you going to show up? You going to show up when I'm fighting the bosses? Doesn't look like it. Oh, you are. Okay. Who do we have? Gravisius again. I got a June mission back. It's just Gravisius. Okay. Destroy all items in intervention. Well, this is this is good because if you would run if you were running intervention because obviously you don't want them to be harder, but because I'm just trying to get this, you know, house done, we're just going to imprison him. After imprisoning him, all we got to do is go into our next map and then now the first 3 houses or the first 2 houses in the last house are locked. What that means is you cannot encounter any other house other than your research house because they are all prepared and ready to go. So let's go back in here. Now when you have um, the houses locked like this, it's both good and bad. It's good, obviously, for this circumstance because you get to farm, you know, white socket benches, pure breach stones, uh, farming, and all that good stuff. However, it can be bad if you're looking to do other things with it. Um, I'm currently only aiming for white socket benches and stuff, so... Excuse me. It's, uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I can't make it to the last room and get. Oh, there we go. We got two to spawn. Who do we got? It that fled and for Ricci. Okay, so this is good. This is good. So now that we have both of them here, they are both tier three. Let's uh, do this real quick. Let's see. For Ricci, no, no, already max rank, no effect. It that fled becomes leader of research and they become rivals. Sure. Let's let's go ahead and swap them. Now is a good chance that when I talk to him, oh, there we go, drop some currency. There you go. Oh, uh, nothing crazy. Had a couple chaos and I'm broke, so that'll work. Not the best outcome. I didn't really get any kind of uh, what do you call it, major intelligence, but because I did get intelligence or because I did a uh, do something that wasn't interrogation, the the house still got three intelligence each, so that's six intelligence. And when you're just getting currency for free and getting intelligence on top of it, you might as well take advantage. Alright, I believe one of my houses is about to become un... Uh, what do you, what do you want to say? Unstuck, unfinished. I'm locked in. Ah, give me that. So we have another syndicate library. Lab library, laboratory. Just quickly go in it. Nothing here. All right. Sometimes you get an enemy in there. Oh yeah, give me your headhunter buffs. Thank you. I'm stuck. Or I'm just dumb. <laughs> there we go. Oh, bubble. Is it a rare bubble? Yes. Here we 
we go. See what I mean? You start killing all the things, and then you get extra people sometimes to show up. So, all right, Verici and Riker. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so Verici and Riker show up. So this is good. This is really good. Since you have someone from a different house, let's see. Ooh, okay. So this is this is something I haven't mentioned yet. This is good. Let's see what he has. Yeah, that's. We're just gonna do this. So this says plus 28 to research intelligence. Riker and Verici become rivals. You absolutely want this because there's no downside. They're not switching houses, anything like that. All that's happening is you getting intelligence and then becoming rivals. And when they're rivals, they end up basically coming to attack each other, and means you'll encounter Riker more often when you when you fight Verici. So we're gonna do that. Now we have a little more intelligence, and let's see what he has to say. See, Verici and Riker become neutral plus four fortification. Well, they just became, you know, enemies. You don't really want to do that, but you don't want to imprison him. So just release him, and then you move on to your next map. When you're chasing your syndicate setup, you have to be sure to, to always choose rivalries whenever they're given. Just make sure there's nothing like... This guy betrays this guy and it's removed from Syndicate unless you absolutely need them removed from Syndicate. For the most part, you shouldn't need anyone removed from Syndicate. A lot of times you'll need to remove someone if your whole field is full and you can't find either Verici or it that fled. It happens, it's unfortunate, but it's just the way it works. Just quickly dispatch all these. Alright. So what do we have? We have a fortification. Alright. Fortification is still pretty good. You're not going to run it, but because we have an enemy in fortification, so to speak, such as a rivalry between Verici and one of the fortification members, that means they have a chance to coming up and basically fighting each other slash with each other, but against each other, so to speak. So we're just going to... Alright, what do we have? We have two members. Guff says execute. Come on. Janice says execute no effect. So we're just going to level up Guff real quick. Just to get him to rank 3. And then these two become trusted plus fortification intelligence. You don't really care about that. They're, they're never going to do anything together anyway. So just to imprison, even if they're leader, imprison them. Then literally that house becomes filled up again. You don't have to worry about running it for 3 more maps. Oh, and there's my alarm. Let me finish this boss off. Come on, please die. Alright. And without further ado, this is it for my part 4 of the series. I will be uploading more parts very shortly. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this little series. Again, this was a request made by one of my subscribers. He wanted to know a little bit of insight on how to do some syndicate. and I'm kind of going through it explaining why you're why you're doing certain decisions what you're doing etc etc thank you very much for watching take it